Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look, there's still some snow left, guys. Oh man. So, I was listening to a radio show today. The Armstrong and Getty Show. Out of California. Show that I, I listen to regularly. So typically if you're gonna hear me talk about a radio show, that would be the show I'm talking about. Anyway, so they were talking about a, a subject. Apparently there was a high school that they were having a career day and they informed the students that while they appreciate that they may want to be a professional athlete, an actor, a singer, a YouTube sensation. If that was their primary uh, belief as far as what their job was going to be in the future, that maybe they select their plan B and come to school prepared for that. Well, just at the notion of suggesting that their child might not be a success in one of those aforementioned industries, it drove the parents crazy at this school. And they protested. They went out and made a, a stink. And the school had to back off and apologize for it. But again, it's just a sign of the times, man. Like, people just aren't realistic anymore. The chances that you're gonna be a success in any of those industries are slim to none. Right? Wow, this, this guy has no idea how, how any of that works. That was not a turn lane. <laughs> Those are the people. Anyway, so the idea that your child, your, your, your child's dreams, hopes and dreams, you're killing their hopes and dreams. It's like, no, you're falsely inflating their hopes and dreams, people. You gotta be real in life. I'm not saying, don't try to be an actor or don't try to be a YouTube sensation. Don't try to be a pro athlete, but you gotta be real. For every one of you that's out there, there's hundreds more just like you. And the reality of it is, if it happens, count your lucky stars. If it doesn't, that's about right. That's how it should be. So don't count on the near impossible to happen. It's like people that play the lottery. Here in Utah, we don't have the lottery, so you don't see a lot of this, but where I'm from originally in California, there would be people who legit thought they were going to win the lottery. Like that was an actual expectation. If they play enough, they will eventually win. It's absolutely ridiculous, right? When you look at the sheer odds, I mean, the odds are so astronomical that I think that I've heard it said before, you're more likely to meet your twin brother after being struck by lightning while being attacked by a shark. Like that's, that's as likely of happening as you winning the lottery. But, there are people out there that like, that's their retirement plan. Instead of investing money or putting money away, 
they play the lottery. And it's really, really sad that there are human beings out there that that's where, that's where they actually put their beliefs. But I guess it's kind of like religion, right? I'm sure several of my viewers will agree with me that in the long run, when you go to church and you give your money to a church, you're gambling. You're putting your money down on on red and saying, yep, I, I have faith that this is going to be my ultimate salvation. So I guess I kind of understand it when you think about it like that. People have faith that they're going to win the lottery. Maybe that's why I, I had such a hard time with religion growing up. I don't know. Anyway guys, what do you think? Should you just always shoot for the stars and not discount your dreams ever? Or should you be real? realistic and not bet on hopes and dreams but on hard cold facts and reality